fragile junk stuff. So. Thanks. Hey, real estate investors, James Wise from Home Wise, bringing the craziest tenants and landlords from Hell Stories to you. Today's video is no exception. I've got a house that is underwater, literally. Let's dive in. So the background behind this property, we've got two houses on one lot. This is in a pretty blighted area. Things are a little bit rough here, so it's, it's a pretty high risk area. We had two tenants in there, both of which were evicted. Uh, when they were evicted, you know, they totally trashed the properties. We got garbage all strewn through the yard, just trash and just crap all inside of the houses um, but that kind of stuff you know you get that a lot that's not even uh, really has anything to do with the point of the video today uh, what we have uh, to deal with today is much worse much more dramatic I don't know if it was actually the tenants themselves one of the two tenants when we evicted them who did this uh, on the way out perhaps they broke in later or it was another uh, person from the neighborhood who saw that these houses were vacant and came in but someone came into the property, started cutting out all of the water lines in an attempt to steal all the copper and anything else of value. When they did this, the water was still on, so it completely flooded one of the houses. I sent my team in to take care of everything. Let's look at the footage. Just watch your step. Anytime I go into these properties, I always whistle or whatever, just to make sure there's no dogs or anybody in the house that might jump out to get you. But yeah, here's our water situation right now. We've got stolen pipes and they love to do it and not shut the water off of the meter. They just go and rip it out because they're taking off and uh, running away with the copper. So I uh, flooded the whole basement. So typically when this stuff happens, I mean, this is an older foundation house. There's gonna be a lot of dirt on the ground. Um, there might need to be a lot more extensive cleaning by Holton Wise as well as far as um the dirt you know getting getting taken out shoveling probably a crew of guys in a dump truck um you know it's going to need a new furnace going to need a new hot water heater obviously we know it's going to need new piping uh generally generally if we ever have this happen with customers we, we recommend replace replace the copper piping with uh pax not cpvc uh pax and uh don't use shark bites all over the place best thing to do is use use crimped rings and, and plastic fittings and things. Crimp rings, basically, they, they seal the pecs to the fitting that creates like a 90 degree angle or uh, a threaded fitting into another fixture, fixture meaning like a faucet um, or, or a valve that maybe turns on and off a faucet. Uh, so, uh, but the nice thing about that with you, using the plastic piping, you know, these guys go in here, they steal this stuff and they're watching the house to see what goes back in. If they see us come up with, you know, 10 sticks of copper, which are 10 feet long, they're coming back in this house as soon as you leave to take it all. Um, so, you know, definitely PAX is a great way to go to secure the investment forward um, so that they, you know, even if they broke in, you know, later on, they, they really aren't gonna have much more to take than just maybe a faucet. We're gonna start pumping this basement out and, and getting it, getting it uh, back to normal. With the extent of the kind of the mud and dirt on the floor and debris, it's best to basically just just clean everything and check these drains um, to make sure everything's flowing properly. Because the amount of stuff that gets in them, you know, now now it needs a lot more work to to get it back to uh, to living standards. Tell James he just earned himself a new pair of flip flops. Typically, we don't want to trust the electric in the house, so we brought out a generator and uh, two trash pumps. Probably only need one though. Uh, that pump a pretty high gallons per hour uh, pump, and um, we should get it pumped out hopefully within an hour. And then uh, we'll have to check the drains in the basement, make sure that they're opened up. Might even have to snake some as well. Good. 
get a little bit, at least a little bit on that. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, next couple steps, they'll get a cleaning crew in here, clean this all up, uh, get the electrical all squared away. Electrical box got wet. Uh, the other thing is too, if you have an extremely flooded basement, you don't want to just run down into the basement because a, this was sitting in the water and you don't want to get shocked by that. That was running the furnace. So, uh, but yeah, I mean, we see stuff like this all the time. You don't want to just go right into that water. Uh, we felt comfortable with the pumps though, that, you know, we can get it pumped down to a location where the electrical wasn't going to hurt us. But this gas line here, they, they at least shut off the gas before they pulled the furnace. But if you suspect your house was broken into like this, I would say it's probably a good idea. Uh, shut, shut the gas off at the meter. Uh, so that, uh, so that, you know, you don't walk into a possible explosion in the house and, uh, either that, or, you know, if, if, if you don't know what you're doing, call, call emergency services, like the fire department. Uh, structure of the house, everything looks okay right now. Uh, just needs a lot of, a lot of rehab inside, obviously, and, and drying out in the crawl space from where it got wet. Um, but structure, it looks okay. This is a round basement. This is an old style basement with cobblestone walls. So structurally, actually everything's probably fine. I found out where the dirt came from. The water level behind you got pretty high. And if you look behind you, there's a crawl space area with, with dirt that just came probably flooding into here. Down those stairs, obviously, is what, what we can tell. Okay. So, um, you know. So now that we've got the majority of the water pumped out. There's a cat see. up in here, too. What's up, kitty? Meow, meow. You want to see it? Hi, big guy. If you can see him back there, he's all the way back there. That's a big cat. Eating some big Cleveland rats. Oh, yeah. Yum, yum, yum. Just another day in the property management industry. You know, things like this, they're going to happen. That's what I'm here for. That's what this channel is about. It is my number one goal to be incredibly transparent and to teach real estate investors what this business is all about. A lot of the other guys out there on the internet, they're going to lead you to believe that as soon as you invest in real estate, it's all about girls in bikinis, fast cars, private jets. That ain't the case. Can you make a ton of money? Yes. Have I made a ton of money? Absolutely. But sometimes you got to roll up your sleeves, get down, get dirty, and deal with the nitty gritty. So I want to make sure I bring the worst of the worst to people just like you. So when you decide to put up your hard-earned money in the investment space, you know what you're getting into. If you've dealt with anything like this or any other savagery in the property management business, I want to hear from you. Post your story in the comments below. If your story is juicy enough, perhaps I'll have you on an episode of Tenants from Hell. And all those tenants out there that are good tenants, good quality tenants that are paying rent, don't think I forgot about you. I know a lot of you guys out there are great and we want to hold bad landlords accountable just like we hold bad tenants accountable. So we have a Landlords from Hell show. I would love to hear your stories talking about your landlords who are not keeping up their properties how they should. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. Cleveland, Ohio is widely considered to be one of the top rental markets in the entire United States. This is because here in Cleveland, our housing prices are low and our rental prices and demand are high. At Holton Wise, we provide the complete turnkey solution for all real estate investors, whether they are local, out of state, or even abroad. As real estate brokers, we will provide you with agent representation to help you buy properties ranging from single family homes to large apartment complexes. We even have referrals for lenders who can provide investment property loans to investors located in all 50 states, allowing you to capitalize on the use of leverage or other people's money. 
We have referrals to top-notch title companies so you know that all of your transactions are safe and secure with every single property being delivered to you with clear title. Once you close on the property, we have an investor-focused insurance brokerage who can handle all your property insurance needs. This insurance brokerage handles auto, home, life, and business policies, but they specialize in working with policies for landlords. We also have full service property management. We can handle all rental property advertisements, tenant placement, rent collection, evictions, maintenance, landscaping, construction, and repairs. In addition, Holton Wise also offers digital media and education. One day, when you are ready to sell your investment, Holton Wise, as the number one seller of investment properties in the greater Cleveland area, can market your property in a video, just like this one, to our worldwide base of investors who are looking to capitalize on the high cash flow opportunities in the Cleveland, Ohio market. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.